Hello and welcome to 34 Diagrams Drawn in 34 Days. This is to help you with your microeconomic exam. Today is day 23 and we're looking at monopolies and natural monopolies. To draw our monopoly, we're going to have two axes. We have our cost and revenue on our Y and our quantity on our X. Monopolies don't have perfectly elastic horizontal demand curves. Monopolies have the power to set their own products because they're differentiated. So we have average revenue, finally, just like demand, sloping downwards. We have marginal revenue, which is twice as steep as average revenue. We have our average total cost curve. I aim for my minimum point to be around here to give me lots of space. Average total cost and our marginal cost curve has to cut through the ATC at its minimum point. And that's my marginal cost. We know that firms aim to profit maximize and that's set by the point MC equals MR. I'm gonna call this QF for the firm. We go up from the quantity until we hit average revenue and go across. This is the price that the firm will set for their product if they want to sell QF quantity. We then go across from our quantity and we hit average total cost and we call that C1. And so the profit made by the firm is the area that shows the, between, the difference between the price and the cost multiplied by the quantity. And I call that profit P1ABC1. However, natural monopolies are slightly different. We have to set them up in the same way. They still have a downward sloping average revenue. They still have a downward sloping marginal revenue that is twice as steep. But what makes them natural monopolies is that they have incredibly high startup costs, which then means that their average total cost falls as output increases. So we're not going to have our average total cost increasing. It's going to fall all the time. That's my average total cost. Now you might see that we haven't actually reached a zero gradient on our average total cost. And so if our MC is trying to cut through the minimum point, it's not quite going to cut through my average total cost. It's not quite reached zero as a gradient. So that's my marginal cost. We know that firms will aim to profit maximize at where MC equals MR, that's the same. So my Q natural monopoly is gonna be set there. We're gonna go up to our average revenue across to P1, A, where we intersect average total cost, B, and a cost cross to C2. So my profit can still be shown by P1, A, B, C2. Neither of these firms are being allocatively efficient. That's when P equals MC, the price is set by MC. If I wanted to increase to an allocatively efficient quantity, I have to increase my quantity to Q star. There are different ways that the government can intervene to try and encourage monopolies to have huge amounts of market power to increase their quantity and lower their prices.